Hello everyone and welcome to the NinjaTrader ecosystem webinar room. Before we get started, I would like to take a moment to test for picture and sound. So if you can hear my voice and see the projection in the room, please type AY. Okay, thank you everyone. It looks like I'm coming in loud and clear. My name is Juanita Archuleta and I work on the NinjaTrader business development team here in our Denver office. We are very, we have a very special event for you today with Chris of Lizard Indicators. At this time, I would like to place a poll into the room, and the question is, are you currently using NinjaTrader? While you fill that out, I would like to mention it is important to understand that there are substantial risks to trading commodities futures contracts. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you and will depend on your specific circumstance and financial resources. It is possible to lose all funds deposited with your brokers and could even incur losses beyond these amounts. Please inquire at the following link. Just give me one moment while I place that in the room. Please, please inquire at the following link for more information or for a full copy of the CFTC full risk disclosure. Also, please remember that these training webinars are not a solicitation nor a recommendation, but simply educational in nature. This presentation is presented by NinjaTrader LLC, which is the technology company responsible for developing and supporting the NinjaTrader trading software. Brokerage-related questions should be directed, directed to the NinjaTrader brokerage directly at 312-262-1289 or by emailing brokerage sales at ninjatrader.com. All right, let's go ahead and review today's results from the poll. 18% of you are using our free license key. 61% of you are lifetime license holders, and 5% of you are currently leasing a live key, and 12% of you are not yet using NinjaTrader. NinjaTrader is free for advanced charting, market analytics, automated strategy development, connecting to a live data provider, and simulated trading. We only charge for our product if and when you decide to trade live through any of our supported broker brokers. Excuse me. If you have not already done so, I would invite you to download NinjaTrader for free from the following link. You can also purchase or lease NinjaTrader using this link. Today, we will join Chris as he demonstrates some of the revolutionary tools Lizard Indicators has developed. Thank you again for your attendance today, and without further ado, it is my pleasure to welcome to the NinjaTrader webinar room, Chris of Lizard Indicators. Go ahead and take it away, Chris. Okay, I just had to unmute there. I didn't realize that I was unmuted. I trust you can hear me fine now. If you can type a Y in, that would be great. All right, super. So I'm uh, coming in from uh, Berlin, Germany tonight. It's uh, 10 o'clock in the evening here, or 10.15. And we've had some really warm weather here. So uh, now the uh, thunder and lightning is, uh, is outside and uh, yeah, getting us off to a roaring start here. Um, yeah, always a pleasure to do these uh, events for the uh, NinjaTrader community. I appreciate the uh, opportunity. Uh, many of you will uh, already know me from uh, Lizard Trader. That is another branch of our company I founded with uh, Harry, also known as Fat Tails, uh, a little over two years ago. Harry is, of course, well known in the uh, NinjaTrader community both uh, over at the support forum and uh, in uh, futures.io. He's programmed some very popular indicators for the platform, all of the ANA indicators for the NinaTrader 7. And today I will uh, talk about how you can access uh, those indicators for NinaTrader 8. As for myself, I got my start in the uh, NinaTrader community with my previous company, SentiTrade. We had developed an artificial intelligence algorithm to automatically read and interpret uh, financial news. So that turned out to be mainly for institutional investors. Uh, so we helped them incorporate uh, modern sentiment data into uh, algorithmic trading models and manage futures products. And that, in turn, gave me some insight uh, to how they work and how they think about the markets. And uh, then I sold my company and started up Lizard Trader with Harry here. And today, we're launching Lizard Indicators. 
So just one last thing before uh, we get going here, I just want to quickly go over our disclaimer as well. Trading is associated with considerable risk, so make sure that you understand that and keep in mind that uh, any results from examples that we go over here today are hypothetical and not based on actual performance. Uh, it's not easy making it as a trader, probably one of the hardest businesses in the world to succeed at. and uh, Many of you here uh, already know that, and if you're just starting out trading, a lot of this is uh, about finding a method that fits your personality. Many of us start uh, out thinking that it's about uh, math and numbers and learning a specific uh, methodology that might be su uh, successful for, for someone else, um, but uh, the truth is that uh, it's the mental game which is the toughest part in trading. It's uh, really easy to become consumed by emotions and ego, and therefore it's uh, important to find a system that fits your personality and to work with uh, appropriate position sizing that will let you stay in charge. Um, big part of the puzzle here is uh, understanding the psychological aspect uh, of trading, and by that we mean understanding how your personality type interacts with the markets. Uh, so a character who's an initi initiator, for example, and uh, who doesn't really enjoy or trust uh, following the lead of other people, um, he will probably not be a very successful trend follower. Um, he's more likely a, a candidate for seeking out uh, turning points or counter trend setups and uh, likewise you probably want to take stock of your personal trading style and determine what markets tools and indicators are the best fit for you so that process uh, will take time and require patience um, but if you put in the hard work you uh, you will get there and uh, uh, when it comes down to uh, to testing these different tools and concepts that are out there, uh, you're often required to uh, pay thousands of dollars uh, just to find out whether a uh, particular software package or trading approach is compatible with, uh, with your style. And uh, we think that's unacceptable and we've made it uh, our mission to uh, deliver a collection of uh, top-notch indicators that you can experiment with before you uh, uh, decide to, uh, to trade real money or to uh, invest in a uh, premium package. So today I'm uh, very excited to announce uh, the launch of uh, Lizard Indicators. This is a uh, new website dedicated to NinjaTrader 8 and uh, we have created an entire indicator library presenting uh, well-established trading concepts for a symbolic price. Uh, you will find, uh, as I mentioned, um, the ANA indicators for those who used uh, NinaTrader 7. Uh, they have now been converted to uh, NinaTrader 8 and they're now called the AMA, AMA uh, series indicators. And uh, yeah, we've uh, created this, uh, this library, indicator library for for all of those, and um, uh, this is a uh, uh, collection of uh, techniques for technical analysis. So we have here um, trend analysis, uh, support resistance, momentum, volatility, volume, uh, statistical analysis, you name it. Uh, these are well-established concepts that were developed by famous traders. So it's a really complete suite of uh, highly useful indicators for an trader 8. Uh, so far we have about uh, 60 indicators in here and there will be many more to come. Um, we also have uh, a uh, indicator spotlight newsletter where you can sign up for free. Uh, to get a monthly download of uh, one of our library indicators with information on, uh, on how to use it. 
Uh, we also offer our proprietary indicators for an trader rate. These are the uh, premium indicators that some of you will be familiar with uh, from Lizard Trader. So far we have uh, the session uh, VVAPs and the session pivot packages ready for you. And uh, the next thing that we're going for is um, uh, the auction bars and the zero lag oscillator. And uh, in our premium section, we also have uh, additional add-ons that can be used to improve the system uh, that you currently trade. Um, for example, we have uh, the multi-time frame opening range, which is used to uh, measure the range at the start of the regular session. So for day traders, it can be used uh, to uh, find the uh, opening range of the first 5 or 15 or 30 minutes. And uh, the reason why that's interesting is because a lot of systems rely on this concept for clues on uh, directional bias. Uh, so they're looking for long trades if the market is uh, moving above the open range high. And uh, they're looking for short setups if the market is trading below the open range low. So that's pretty much what the uh, opening range uh, looks like. Let's see if I can find a, something to draw with here. Yeah, um, so uh, this is a five minute chart of the uh, crude contract and we have a uh, 15 minutes uh, opening range should have to excuse the uh, the text here. I don't know what happened with the PowerPoint uh, presentation on the way across the Atlantic here, but there was a formatting error. But uh, basically, you see here it's a 15 minute uh, opening range, and um, uh, that will be then uh, at the regular open uh, in New York, so from uh, 9 to uh, 9:15 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, but in uh, today's uh, algo-driven markets, it's uh, yeah a lot of a lot of things can be uh, seen of what happens uh, during uh, the first minute of, of trading. So this uh, this red area here is uh, uh, the opening range uh, of the first minute of trading. And so you can see this is a, a multi-time frame indicator. It's uh, displaying both the 15-minute uh, opening range, uh, which we had chosen for for this uh, for this chart, as well as the one-minute range. So the main concept here, as I mentioned, is to uh, look for clues on directional bias uh, by knowing whether the market is uh, trading above or below the open range um, high and low points. Now, there are many variations of, uh, of this uh, concept. Um, Mark Fisher, for example, he works with a uh, offset of ticks above and below um, the open range high and, and low uh, to help confirm whether it's a uh, real opening range breakout, uh, whereas others uh, are working with a uh, time a specific uh, time period to see if the market stays above uh, or below the range for a, a certain uh, time period in order to confirm the signal. Um, and then we also see here the uh, pre-session. And um, so at the opening range here, you see this is the uh, mid um, range of the pre-session. And at the opening uh, here, you see some support found here at the, the mid-range. And then again, over here. So that's really preventing a breakout to the downside here. And then we see this move above. And then it's finding uh, some resistance here at the uh, pre-session high level. And then breaking through and then finding some support here uh, coming in from above. And so you see how these levels uh, can, can be useful uh, to, uh, to locate also support and resistance levels um, uh, following the uh, uh, pre-session high and low as well as the uh, opening range high and low points. 
um, as for uh, profit profit targets of this, um, uh, you can work with uh, range extensions. And uh, here we have uh, the first upper band uh, that is uh, basically just a, a multiple of one uh, of uh, of this range. What you see here in the uh, indicator dialog box, you can of course choose this uh, to your own preference. Uh, so you can set it to uh, 0 0.5 or start with uh, the first profit target at uh, 2.0 or, or what have you. Um, and as in the uh, webinar outline, you can also combine this uh, setup with uh, the uh, super trend. So uh, this is also found in our library section. So, for example, if you if you miss this uh, second profit target here at the second upper band, uh, you could use the uh, super trend to uh, trail the second lot here to stay in the position. Uh, in this case, it would be a, a break-even scenario. Um, basically, the super trend uh, works very well during trending periods, but uh, will produce uh, a lot of whipsaw trades during choppy times. Uh, which uh, to some extent is, uh, is what you see here. Um, you can, of course, uh, set the uh, uh, width of the stop uh, by the uh, true range multiplier. I'll get back to that in a, in a little bit here. Another way you can use uh, the uh, super trend is uh, by having it determine the overall trend that we're uh, uh, in. So here we have a 240 minute chart and according to the super trend we should only look for short opening breakouts in this scenario. So if you're using it that way we would filter out uh, any long breakouts. Uh, so this is the uh, scenario that we just looked at in the five minute chart. Um, so using it as a trend filter in, in this way would, would block that signal. Um, it also shows you the uh, multi time frame function of uh, the premium opening range indicator. Uh, as mentioned, it adds a secondary uh, minute bar series to the chart, which is used to calculate the opening range. So. Um, even though the uh, opening period is not an integer multiple of the bar period, uh, we're still able to see the minute range uh, that we specified. So in this uh, example, we did use a 15-minute uh, opening range as well as uh, we had this uh, one-minute opening range visible. And although we have a 240-minute chart, as you see here, we can see both the one-minute range as well as the 15-minute range calculated independently of the 240-minute uh, bar series uh, we are using to build the chart. Of course, this feature is uh, just as important for uh, tick uh, range and volume charts um, because uh, uh, the standard opening range indicators may not display uh, the opening range correctly. For example, uh, uh, the, uh, if the last bar expands, uh, beyond the opening range and uh, closing after uh, the opening period, they will not be uh, accurate. So uh, the multi-time frame version here uh, displays the opening range correctly, even if the primary bar series does not um, uh, contain the necessary information for, for that calculation. Uh, another really neat feature uh, by this indicator is that the regular open and the night pre-session is uh, defined for each instrument. Uh, so it has the appropriate uh, trading hours for the various indices and instruments added directly to the properties. So unlike in Initrader 7, you don't have to worry about uh, session templates or offset times to get this, uh, this right. And uh, yeah, the same applies to our premium version of the session VVAPs and pivot level, so this is a major improvement uh, versus what we had for uh, MiniTrader 7. I think we'll just go into the charts now and have, uh, have a look at how that's actually done. Um, 
hope you guys can see my charts here. Uh, I have uh, the super trend over here to the right, and uh, you can make this a little bit bigger. And so basically, uh, as you see here, it's uh, again a 240-minute chart. So this is uh, uh, keeping you in these positions uh, uh, quite nicely. Uh, it's uh, working quite nicely as a, as a trend filter, as you can see here. Uh, of course, that uh, that does depend on the um, uh, offset multiplier that you use here. So that's uh, that's set here. And then a nice uh, feature of this, you can uh, now reverse this intrabar. So if you click this, uh, you see here, this is uh, it's now switching short at the moment that this uh, stop level is, uh, is taken out. And so that's uh, another really nice feature of this. Uh, we also have uh, uh, different um, options for offset formula and baseline smoothing. I'll get back to that a little bit later in the uh, presentation here today. Um, for now, I wanted to show a little bit more about this uh, uh, database that I uh, mentioned for the uh, opening range uh, because that is a, uh, a very nice feature and a very major improvement that we have uh, versus NinaTrader 8, no, oh, NinaTrader 7, excuse me. Um, so uh, here we have the indicator uh, dialog box. And uh, you see here a uh, option where you can choose uh, regular trading hours as well as uh, custom hours. So I like to look at the uh, uh, opening range of the European session. So uh, you can use the custom um, option for that. Uh, and you see here now we have uh, the opening range for the uh, for the uh, European session and uh, if you choose uh, regular trading hours and you have uh, uh, the opening range period defined here and uh, you hit OK and then it, it selects this automatically based on a um, uh, a little database that is added to this uh, towards the bottom here. Uh, you have trading instruments and uh, it's maybe a little bit too uh, too deep but for, for those of you who like session indicators and you who trade those uh, you will know how frustrating it, it could be working with the session templates and now this is all integrated in here so you see the uh, NYMEX uh, Energy Futures for CL is added here directly. Uh, it has the time zone uh, selected and uh, electronic open as well as the regular open. Uh, so this is all taken care of uh, for you um, once you uh, load the, the instrument and select uh, the appropriate um, uh, session time that you uh, would like to use. Uh, a couple of other uh, um, features that you have here, uh, you have uh, uh, you can sh choose to show this uh, one minute opening range, for example, or you can leave it uh, uh, leave it out. Let's see, de click it. I think I clicked it two times. So now it's uh, it's very much a uh, point and click uh, kind of uh, um, use of this indicator. It's very comfortable to you to use it, and uh, then you can use this range extension bands, uh, for example, uh, we can choose to use the uh, uh, pre-session range instead of the opening range, and we can set the multiplier here to, let's set it to 0 0.5, for example. And here we see we get in uh, within a few ticks of uh, half of the uh, um, pre-session range. So, um, yeah, a lot of uh, neat features that we've uh, that we've added to uh, to this one, and you will be very pleasantly surprised, I think, uh, by how uh, easy and uh, comfortable it is to use the uh, the other session indicators as well, based on uh, on this framework that uh, NinaTrader 8 allows us to uh, to use. 
All right. Um, let's see. I think that was it, what I wanted to show for the uh, opening range and for the super trend. Um, I'm going to go back into the slideshow here. Um, yeah, the reason why I've uh, talked about the uh, this uh, premium opening range indicator is because we have a uh, introductory offer here today. Uh, if you become a member of uh, uh, Lister indicators today, uh, you not only get access to the full indicator library that I talked about in the beginning here, but you also get this premium indicator for free with your membership here. And um, uh, as mentioned, we so far have about 60 indicators in the library. Um, we haven't gotten around to convert all of the ANA series indicators yet, but uh, uh, we will eventually, and uh, the library will uh, expand far beyond uh, what we have so far. Um, we also have uh, newly released indicators that you won't find anywhere else and uh, everything is uh, neatly organized and well documented and uh, regularly updated so you don't have to endlessly browse the various forums and ask yourself if you have the most uh, recent version or not. And uh, uh, yeah, if uh, uh, that isn't enough. We also have um, uh, membership discounts uh, on our premium indicators. So you get a uh, membership discount uh, on those. So that's between 10 and 20% off for the premium products if you're a member. And um, yeah, it's uh, all available for a uh, one-time payment of uh, 95 bucks. So uh, there are no recurring fees for this, so it's a one-time fee. And um, yeah, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find a uh, better deal in the NinaTrader community. Uh, that being said, this is our introductory offer. And uh, as the library expands, the membership fee will probably go up uh, somewhat. So it's probably a, a smart move to, to get in on this uh, introductory offer here. Um, we have created a, a special link for this, so you can sign up uh, at lizardindicators.com forward slash launch. Uh, this is up for a couple of days, so you have uh, a few days to decide. And um, yeah, uh, I think uh, I wanted to sh uh, show a little bit uh, more from uh, the library. We have uh, uh, one that's called uh, the multiple deviation bands. Uh, basically, this is a uh, classic or Bollinger band. So what we see here, a um, SMA with the, the standard deviation bands. And uh, uh, our multiple deviation bands also have uh, the options to, uh, to work with uh, median and mean absolute deviations. Um, the median absolute deviation is a more robust statistical measure than the standard deviation specifically. Uh, it's more resilient to uh, outliers in the look back period. So the standard deviation is uh, known to include uh, large deviations, uh, possibly distorting your output by including uh, outliers, um, whereas a small number of outliers uh, will not be included if, uh, if you use um, uh, one of these more robust formulas. So uh, we also call this a multiple for a reason. Uh, it's, uh, it uh, has uh, a number of options uh, built in to calculate uh, the midband. Basically, you have uh, about uh, 30 moving averages here. Um, and of course, you will find uh, all of these separately in the listed indicators library as well. So the super trend, uh, as you saw, uh, we looked at earlier, also has this uh, this option uh, built in. And uh, we also have a couple of other multi-indicators that you might want to have a look at as well. Uh, but I'm not going to go on forever about what, everything yet that you can find in the library. Um, there should be something for everyone in there. Uh, you can uh, swing by Lizard Indicators uh, and have a look for yourself. Uh, that way we can keep the presentation short and to the point here today. And uh, we'll have more time to 
answer questions. We have uh, Harry with us uh, in the room here today. So uh, if you have any questions uh, for him or for me, uh, I think we'll just uh, go ahead and uh, open up the Q&A session here and, uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll see what, uh, what transpires. I uh, hope we have a lively Q&A session here. All right, so I'm just going to go into the question form here and just keep on uh, asking the questions and we'll, uh, we'll see um, if we can find the right answers to those. Um, will the indicator plot on all charts of uh, the same instrument? Um, not sure I understand that uh, question, Wes. Perhaps uh, Harry has an idea to what you're referring to. I'll take the uh, uh, the next question about the super trend, how it's uh, defined. Um, it's definitely not uh, us or Harry that came up uh, with it. I think this originated from uh, uh, TradeStation, um, but it is a fairly well uh, well-known uh, known concept. So um, there's a lot of information on it out there, uh, open on, on the web. So what premium indicator is uh, free with a membership? Um, so that would be the uh, opening range indicator, as I mentioned. That is free with the uh, with the membership, and uh, yeah, as I said, that will be up uh, for for a couple of days, probably until the end of the weekend. Um, and Dean, yeah, thanks. Uh, I saw you became a member yesterday, so I'll make sure that uh, we get out the premium indicator for you as well. Uh, do you include uh, MACD BB lines? Uh, yes, we have uh, the MACD uh, BB lines as uh, in in the, uh, the the library here, so you can uh, have a look at uh, at those. I think it's under um, advanced uh, oscillators. Um, so you're uh, Amir. I see you're new to Nina Trader. Um, so it's 95 bucks for uh, uh, access to the uh, to the whole uh, library. It's a one-time fee, um, uh, but uh, yeah, you you have to uh, if you if you're interested in the premium indicators, those are not a part of the library. So basically, you have uh, you have two categories of indicators here. You have uh, the uh, uh, the indicators that come with the library uh, that are included in the membership and on, on top of those uh, you can uh, have a look at the premium indicators um, but those uh, are uh, proprietary and uh, uh, they're offered at, at a different price. So for now we have uh, three indicators in there so that the, the session VVAPs and the session pivots and uh, the opening range indicator and uh, yeah, you can you can have a look at that uh, in the premium section. Um, let's see if I can find some other questions here. I see there's a lot of questions coming in here, so that's great. So just to specify again, 95 boxes for all of the indicators. I know uh, some vendors uh, charge uh, 95 bucks per indicator, but we have decided to charge uh, 95 bucks for all of them. So it just makes it uh, a better value for you and easier for us uh, in terms of, uh, of managing the licensing of this. Uh, so where is the link? Let me uh, put in the uh, sign up link here. Uh, let's see, so I'm dropping that into the chat box here now. So that will take you to our uh, introductory offer page. So if you sign up there, 
uh, you will uh, have access to the introductory offer. Uh, so the premium indicators are uh, just south of uh, yeah the, the session pivot indicators. The list price is uh, two ninety five uh, for members. It's uh, two sixty five, and uh, the VVAPs are three forty five list price, and for members it's uh, two ninety five. And the opening range indicator has a list price of uh, 115, a membership price of uh, 95, and uh, as I said, if you sign up for the introductory offer, you get it for free. So it's a pretty, pretty good deal here, I think, today. Uh, Rex, uh, you're looking for a market profile indicator uh, that will. Uh, it's probably not that far out. We uh, are working on something to uh, uh, to address that particular category. Um, so we have a number of uh, statistical indicators that will uh, come in very uh, very useful for uh, creating a, a very um, high quality market market profile indicator. Wolf Wave indicator. Um, not sure I'm familiar with that, Rick, so um, I will have to direct that to Harry. Harry, have you heard of uh, the Wolf Wave indicator? If you want to chime in, just feel free to, to do so. I'll try. Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you loud and clear. Great. Yes, of course we know of the Wolf Wave indicator, but this is not yet part of the library, and I think it might take some time, but I'll take it as an idea for future expansion of the library. Okay, and th there was another uh, question about the uh, the super trend. Uh, I, I sort of answered it that we don't really, or I at least I don't really know the origin of it. But maybe you have some some details uh, to uh, to add to what the super trend is and uh, yeah, a little bit what it does and and how it's. Uh, how it's thought to, to work. Yeah, the super trend is a, basically a trailing stop. It is built from a moving average similar to a Bollinger Band and then you deduct you de deduct multiple of um, the average true range or average range. So it's a trailing stop that adjusts um, to both price action and to volatility. The, the original super trend was a trade station indicator and it could only be used with, the, with an SMA or EMA and the two range and we have just taken this indicator and generalized it. That means you can use um, 30 or 32 moving averages as a mid band and then also the, the formula for calculating volatility can be changed, so there are four or five options to do that. So it's a very, it's a very versatile indicator. Depending on the settings, you can also emulate other indicators. For example, like the gun high low activator. You don't need that. You can rebuild it with a super trend. So it's it's probably the most complete trailing stop. Um, yeah, the shortcoming of the super trend is that it doesn't work in in range bound situations. It's it's a trending and it's an indicator which is excellent when the markets are trending and in my opinion it should be used as a trailing stop or as a trend filter but not for entry timing but that's really something you should find out yourself and, and try it maybe do some strategies using it and then and then see whether they work I've done automated strategies with the super trend as well and they usually only work with a filter when you apply them only when the market is trending. So I think that's that's about all you we can say about the super trend. And then I have a question here about the multi time frame uh, EMA. If we have that, um, we we don't have a multi EMA right now, but. Um, 
I have coded one for Ninja Trader 7, which is known as the Visual EMA. And we are planning to offer this for Ninja Trader 8 as well. All right, and then we have uh, a question uh, between the difference between the premium VVAPs and the free VVAPs. Um, basically, there are a couple of uh, uh, indicators that are uh, included in the, uh, the premium package, which are not found in the, um, the, the free version or the, the non-premium uh, version. Um, and uh, yeah, these uh, premium versions, they also have a, a higher accuracy. Uh, so they have a, a secondary bar series. Um, and as I said, they have uh, additional uh, plots, uh, such as the Paraday VVAP uh, value area, um, as well as uh, prior standard deviation bands. Um, yeah, and then uh, further days going back, if you uh, if you wish to define that as well. Um, there will be uh, also a, uh, a rolling VVAP. Uh, coming up that's uh, not available as of yet, but that's uh, that's also in the works. Um, so that will also be uh, a part of the uh, the premium package, which is uh, is not found um, in the uh, the among the library uh, indicators. And then there is a uh, a question uh, between the. Uh, uh, f uh, the indicators in the library versus uh, uh, those found at uh, futures.io. Uh, I think that's uh, good just to uh, to address that. So basically, uh, what you find uh, in our library is uh, the full collection of uh, of of the tools uh, available and programmed by by Harry and uh, in uh, in the various forums. You you will find some of them. Uh, uh, they might be the latest version. Uh, <laughs> there might not be. It's a uh, it's a lot of work to uh, to keep track of uh, the, where they've been been posted. So basically, our library is the go-to place to to find the latest latest versions and uh, and also these um, uh, indicators that haven't been uh, released uh, uh, elsewhere. So uh, listed indicators is uh, is kind of the, the go-to source for this. It's uh, it's a service. Um, if you if you don't want to browse and scour the the forums uh, for for hours, then you come to the library and uh, and and you get what you need uh, here. Um, the OR ORT indicator. Um, I'm not sure what you're referring to, uh, Darren. Maybe uh, Harry can can fill in on the ORT, uh, or maybe. <laughs> what is OIT? What does it mean? O ORT. Yeah, that's that's the question. So um, that might might be a typo there. I I haven't heard of it. So if you can type in the question again, uh, Darren, then we'll probably get to it at some point. So Frank is asking if the uh, zero lag oscillator has been converted to yet. It's uh, not quite ready, uh, but it's uh, the uh, the next thing that will uh, will get done here. Uh, we have so far um, spent uh, quite a bit of uh, time and resources on getting the library up and ready, and then um, the session indicators, the session packages are quite complex, so uh, that took us a while as well, but uh, I'm confident that we have the, the hardest uh, uh, job behind us, and then uh, we, will, we will get to the zero lag oscillator and the auction bars uh, that many of you know from uh, Lister Trader at, uh, at this point. Uh, Roland is uh, asking uh, uh, about the update for the uh, Ninja Trader 7 owners. So uh, we will provide a uh, free update 
for those who purchased uh, the Ninja Trader 7 uh, licenses. So I guess we'll send out an uh, email tomorrow with the uh, update for the uh, session indicators for Ninja Trader 8. And then uh, you will hear from us as soon as we have the uh, auction bars and the serial lag oscillator uh, as well. Uh, do you have uh, volume indicators uh, that use the Wyckoff, Wyckoff method of volume price analysis? Harry, do you want to take that one? Um, I don't know exactly what indicator you're referring to. So please send us an email and, and we'll answer the question. Otherwise, we have the uh, the relative volume indicator uh, that's also in, in the works. So that will be coming up as well uh, in not too long, I think. Uh, do all of your indicators work with uh, NinjaTrader 7 and NinjaTrader 8? Well, we have uh, a uh, membership section for uh, Lizard Trader as well. And uh, uh, basically, the way it's uh, lined up now is uh, that the, the Lizard Trader uh, site is, uh, was what we did for NinjaTrader 7 and then um, uh, NinjaTrader 8 for now is, uh, is a lizard indicator, so that's kind of uh, what we'll do moving uh, moving forward. We will um, uh, have, of course, the NinjaTrader 8 uh, offering for a lizard trader uh, as well. The idea between these two, uh, or the separation between these two uh, websites is that uh, lizard trader is more of a uh, a trading approach, obviously, uh, from from the name. So that's uh, uh, one trading approach uh, uh, with emphasis on uh, session indicators. Um, however, there are a lot of different trading approaches, and uh, um, Harry has uh, many wonderful program, wonderful tools for um, Ninja Trader Seven as well as Ninja Trader Eight. So um, the idea was here to create a, a really um, uh, extensive library for uh, all of those tools uh, at Lizard Indicators, hence, uh, hence the name Indicator. So it's kind of like the uh, entire recipe uh, book is found at uh, Lizard Indicators and at Lizard Trader it's more of uh, one or two or three specific trading approaches uh, or um, methodologies. Uh, so that's uh, a more more specific uh, approach to uh, a, a trading concept, and then at Lizard Indicators, you really have the the whole gamut of uh, of uh, technical analysis and uh, and different approaches that you can experiment with. Um, is everything Bloodhound compatible? It's uh, from what I know, it's uh, Bloodhound is not uh, yet ready for Nina Trader 8, so we will have to wait uh, until uh, till, till they're ready. Um, but they seem to be uh, making good progress on that, so we're we're waiting uh, to to see uh, how how that comes along. But we're uh, um, a partner of uh, Shark Indicators, so uh, we, we work with them and uh, uh, our indicators for Nina Trader 7 are compatible with uh, Bloodhound as well as Blackbird, so uh, if you're interested in, uh, in our approach to, to those tools, uh, you may have a look at uh, some videos on, on YouTube or, or whatnot for, for that. Amir, uh, it is my understanding that there is a uh, recording of this webinar, so uh, that will uh, go out to all of the registrants. Um, so look out for that in your inbox. Um, Harry, there is a question here. Do you have a price to range indicator? price to range. I don't exactly understand Maybe what it's supposed to be. 
So maybe, again, please maybe you can email and and we'll answer. That's the easiest easiest way. Yeah, I'll I'll drop the uh, the email address here in the in the chat box, and so you can get in touch with us. Otherwise, there is also a um, a uh, contact form at Lizard Indicator, so you can drop us a line there as well. And uh, so, John, you're wondering what's the duration uh, for the special offer and uh, how much it is. Well, as I mentioned, it's uh, 95 bucks for the membership to Lizard Indicators. And uh, depending on when we get the recording, because I want to give the uh, everyone a chance to register for the webinar as some of you couldn't attend. So uh, I want to get the recording out. So that depends a little bit on, on Initrader when they get the recording out to me. Um, so that will be either tomorrow or on Monday. Um, I had originally planned that this uh, uh, deal will go down on uh, on Sunday. So um, normally it should be up until Sunday, possibly Monday. So that's that's the, the timeline on this. Okay. Um, see a lot of questions here. If there are some questions that I don't get to here. Uh, just drop us a line at uh, info at lizardindicators.com or uh, you can drop us a line also in the, the contact form over at the site. Um, initial balance levels. So this is uh, the opening range uh, is, uh, is sort of taking taking that Integrating that uh, uh, that concept, you, as, a, as I mentioned, you can uh, set the uh, range extensions uh, in the opening range indicator. Um, so you might, might want to have a look at that. Um, is there a link uh, that lists all the lizard indicators? Yeah, if you go over to the uh, website, you can uh, check out the indicator library section and then uh, you will find a link that says all indicators and you can check it out. All right, I think... Uh, I think that's it for uh, for the um, webinar today. I think I will uh, hand it back over to uh, uh, Juanita now. And um, yeah, as I said, uh, you can also get in touch with me um, available at info at lizardindicators.com. Uh, you can also get me on Skype if you'd like to talk with me personally. And uh, with that, I think I'll uh, wrap up the presentation here. Thanks for checking in. I hope it's uh, been of value to everyone and uh, look forward to seeing you in the membership section soon. I'd like to give a special thank you to Chris of Lizard Indicators for a great presentation. Ninja Trader Ecosystem is pleased to sponsor these weekly vendor events as a value-added service for our clients. If you find value in these events, we hope you will attend them on a regular basis. We would like to remind you the information provided in this was that of Lizard Indicator and not of Ninja Traders. All information was for educational purposes and should not be constru construed as trading advice. For additional events that are coming up and training events using the Ninja Trader platform, you can view our scheduled webinars coming up at the following link. Again, we appreciate the time you spend with us. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we hope to see you in future webinars. Happy trading from all of us here at NinjaTrader. Thank you.